Well, Building Steps is a Baltimore City program aimed at helping to prepare high school students for college, and it's working right now. Joining us is the Executive Director, Deborah Hedelman, and the program graduate, Andrea, joining us both. Thank you, ladies, for coming by. First, talk about the importance of Building Steps, because I'm guessing in some families, some kids may not get this opportunity, yeah? I think, unfortunately, in many families, kids don't get this opportunity. We work with Baltimore City kids who have a B average or higher, kids who really have great potential but may lack the resources in that most of our students are the first in their family to go to college. So if no one in your family has gone to college, how are you supposed to know what to do? Sure. And if you're in a school that has limited resources and limited guidance, how are you supposed to know? And that's where Building Steps comes into play. When you started years ago, did it surprise you when you walked into a school, um, at least in some cases back then, how little they had when it came to preparation for that graduation day or a connection to science and technology? It's, it's, it's mind-blowing and earth-shattering, actually, how little some of our students are prepared. And it's not their fault. It's not the school's fault. I think there's a lot going on in our school system and a lot of kids to move through. And they, Baltimore City partners with programs like ours, yeah. which is really great. You are proof, living proof of the success of this program. Yes. Uh, when you go back, so I'm sure you go back and, and talk to other people who have joined. What is your message? What was your trail as you got into Hopkins? Mm -hmm. So um, I was in the program in 2009 and 2010, yeah. um, my junior and senior year. And I really, truly accredit um, Building Steps for getting me into Hopkins. Yeah. It was kind of a reach school. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get from point A to point B. Um, my parents are immigrants from the country, originally from South Africa. Ah. Um, and their greatest dream was for their daughters to go to college. So um, getting into the program, getting that knowledge, that support, that confidence um, to apply to a school like Hopkins and get in was, was absolutely amazing. Without so, this program, would you have even, you said it was a reach school. Would, yes. would you have reached without that? I would say no, no. Um, like I said, my parents were new to the country, so they didn't necessarily know how to assist me in that way. So Building Steps really bridged that gap. I think as I looked at your website, some of the important things are experiences outside of the classroom. You do the college visits, you do the SAT prep, but you also put kids in that working environment. Is that just as important? Critical. So many of our students come from households where nobody works or they might work in a blue collar mm -hmm. position, which is great and very respectable. But if you want your students to be involved in science and technology, you have to show it to them. They have to see it in action, they have to experience it. So we take them on seminar days where they experience a site visit to say General Motors mm. or to the National Aquarium where they get a behind the scenes tour to and NASA. to NASA yeah. and they get this eye opening experience and going, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. So that's what Building Steps provides. We provide the exposure in their junior year of high school mm. and then when they're in the summer between junior and senior, we place them in an internship mm. where they can they can learn about whatever their interest interest is at the time. So Yes, I was placed at Sinai Hospital. Oh, um, nice. So. Is, is a, a career in medicine what you're aiming for? Or that what? initially was the plan. Okay. <laughs> Being exposed to that, I kind of adjusted um, my goals a little bit. But now I work at the National Aquarium in the Conservation Department. Oh, very so nice. environmentally focused. Very nice. If there are children or students out there or parents who see this, what's the best way to get uh, a student involved with Building Steps? The best way to get involved is to go to our website, which is buildingsteps.org, and all of the information is on there. The schools that we're partnering with are on there. Our application is on there. And in addition to looking for students, we're always looking for volunteers. We're a very small staff. We have 125 high school students that we work with. We have several hundred of our students in college and beyond that we're still working with, like Andrea. And so we need volunteers to help our students with SAT prep, writing, tutoring, uh, mentoring, or helping with um, applications or interview skills. Excellent. Well, thank you both for coming. It's a wonderful program. I'm sure we'll hear even more about you in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. And for more information on the Building Steps program, head to WBAL-TV's mobile app.